your Locked On Devils, your daily podcast on the New Jersey Devils, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hi, this is Bryce Salvador, and you're Locked On Devils with Trey Matthews. wrap your head around the last few months and sort of where your hockey journey has taken you to this point <laughs> yeah I mean it's definitely been a, a, a wild you know 18 months I think I played a world championships went to two final fours with Michigan um, you know two three world juniors um, in here so it's uh it's been it's been a crazy ride and uh, looking for some time to to chill and, and re- really refresh refresh and reflect but uh you know, it's been great. Um, you know, I've loved my time here, and I'm really excited. How important for you was it to get a little bit of a taste of that NHL, whether it's regular season playoffs, going into this season? Yeah, I think it was, you know, really important for me um, just to see where my game is at and, uh, you know, have those building blocks to go off of. So, um, you know, I think playing a team like Carolina, too, you know, one of the best teams in the NHL defensively, and, um, you know, really, really seeing what I can do against them was uh, was important for me, and I think important for the for the people in the organization to see. Where did you feel your game was at in comparison of you know just playing at the NHL level? Yeah, I liked it. I think, uh, like I said, it's it's something to build off of. I think, you know, I need to have a big summer, and I will, and um, you know, come back very prepared and ready, like I was. How does it feel? Like you've spoken to all your teammates on the blue line, and they've had nothing but glowing reviews about your game. Yeah, I mean, I think. You know, the guys have been great to me. Um, you know, I think really appreciated, you know, how they, you know, welcomed, welcomed me into the team and, um, you know, really brought me in. The coaching staff's been awesome, the trainers, everyone. So, um, you know, all in all, it was, a, it was a great situation walking in. Everyone's been great. Coming into this situation, does it feel like the start of something really special? Like they'll be here year after year at this defense in the postseason? I think we hope so. So, um, you know, I think it was a sour taste left in our mouth. Um, you know, because obviously we we want to win, and um, you know, we want, we're, <laughs> I've only been here a, a month, but you know, I don't think we have a lot of patient people. You know, we want to win now, and um, you know, it's a sour taste, but uh, you know, we'll be back. So. And you expect to be here full time next season? I, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, what do you think of, uh, of Lindy in your in your short time here, and how and how he's able to guide younger players? Yeah, I think you know. The coaches were awesome. Lindy was great. Gilly was great. Um, you know, just working with me after practice and, you know, working on little things, saucing skills. Um, and then, you know, Gilly just telling me little pointers um, and really just coaching me up. So, you know, they are both great. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing that relationship. How, how are you able to settle in so quickly into the uh, NHL? Because you said it yourself. You went from going to the Frozen Four to now playing – a lot of minutes in in game five in a in an elimination game. So I, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on like just the process of just settling down in the NHL and getting comfortable. Yeah, I think I was very prepared, you know, coming in um, with my mindset and you know uh, how my game was was ready after going two years two years at Michigan. So um, you know, I think the second year for me was huge, just developing. Um, you know, my skills and making sure my body was ready, making sure my strength was, was up, and then just a maturity level, just to make sure my mind was ready for the NHL and, you know, the ups and downs and, um, you know, how even kill you have to be. What are your expectations uh, come next year? Because you just mentioned that you expect to be with the team full time. Has there been talk about a bigger role or um, has there been a discussion of that sorts yet? No, I think, you know, I think, I mean, we we just finished our season, you know, I need to have a big summer and you know, I think everyone knows that and, um, you know, come back and, and, you know, win a role and, um, you know, really, really step in and try to help these guys out. Luke, how important was it to come in here and have Jack as a sound board for you? Yeah, I mean, it was unbelievable. Just, uh, you know, even the off ice stuff, just living together and, you know, I haven't lived with him in four years. So, um, you know, just living with him and, you know, watching movies, hanging out, you know, it's it's the brother aspect that's uh, that's pretty cool. But obviously playing together is uh, super special and, you know, it was, uh, it was awesome getting out there with them. Is he easy to live with? Yeah, yeah. 
low Re- maintenance. Yeah, low maintenance. Uh, really tidy person now. So. <laughs> you Are you? Odd couple? <laughs> I need uh, uh, not as much as him, but I'm working on it. <laughs> what, what was your favorite moment from the season? I know you only played a few games in the NHL, but I'm just curious to know, like, uh, does any moment stick out for you? Um, probably winning Game Seven. Like, I didn't play, but I was just like. It was just so cool to watch those guys, and um, obviously you want to be in that situation and play. But you know, watch them. Um, you know, really, really grind back from down 2-0 was uh, was pretty cool to see. So um, you know, that was that was awesome for them and us. How was your game five? Whenever you got paired with Gravy and had the big assignment going against Carolina, I mean, what did that mean to you? The, the trust and respect that the coaches have had in you? Yeah, I think you know that's. Um, yeah, I mean that that was that was awesome for me to get in there and you know try to try to help out. And at the end of the day, it's about winning the hockey game. So if they they believe in me and um, you know thought I could get the job done best, and you know I appreciate that and I'll I'll do my best to get the job done. So. How has your game matured ever since you got drafted? Because we always knew you were an offensive-minded defenseman, and people were concerned about your defense. But if Game Five was any indicator, you debunked those rumors. So curious to know how your game has matured. Yeah, I think just my maturity level has uh, has grown a lot. I think um, really picking your spots, when to go, when not to go, and um, you know I'm still learning, I'm still getting better, and you know I think this summer's huge for me, and I, I want to get better at all aspects of my of my game. But um, yeah, I think um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I I don't so know. Oh. Okay. Off season, um, yeah, we have a great group. It's me, Jack Quinn, Cole Caulfield, Bernier, Zegras, uh, Kyle Connor, Larks, Borinsky. So a lot of money on that ice, but uh, you know we work really hard. We grind five days, take Saturday, Sunday off, and then get back at it on Monday. So yeah, yeah, done, <laughs> done, with, done with college for a little bit. I, so. I, I had a chance to speak uh, with Maddie about a month ago. Um, when the Kraken played the Coyotes and he had nothing but positive things to say about uh, you. He said he was you were one of the most uh, talented skaters he's ever played with. So just hearing that high praise from your former Wolverine teammate and also the high praise at the NHL level and um, how are you going to you know use it to elevate your game just a little bit more? Yeah, I think, you know, Matty a, a really good person. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed my time playing with him at Michigan and, um, you know, I think, um, you know, that's that's awesome that he said that about me. And, um, you know, he's an unbelievable player. And, you know, that's uh, – I have a lot of respect for him. So, um, you know, he's a, he's a great guy and a great player. Luke, would you get your mother for tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure that out tonight. <laughs> His presence. He's going yeah. back. It's, well, it's, it's Jack's B-Day too tomorrow. So, it's a big day, big day. Or, yeah, tomorrow, right? <laughs> Yeah, tomorrow's tomorrow's, tomorrow's Sunday, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Could you just talk, talk a little bit about mom and the impact she's had on your career? Yeah, I think you know my parents, and um, you know they've they've sacrificed so much for us, and to be in the situation, I think it's just the dedication of them. Um, you know, having three three boys in the NHL, um, you know, is really special, and you know I think that's that's all because of them and how they pushed us growing up, and um, you know from when she taught us how to skate when we were two years old, uh, watching our games and tell us what she thinks now. So um, she's she's been unbelievable for us. And, um, yeah, she's definitely a huge reason why all three of us are here. What was going through your mind uh, game five when we weren't sure if Jack was going to play or not? Um, what was going through my mind? I, I, don't, I don't know. I think, you know, he's an unbelievable player. And, you know, I think if he didn't play, it, you know, would have hurt the team a lot. But... Um, you know, that's just a de- dedication to him and you know, him grinding through stuff like a lot of guys. And, um, you know, I think that's just playoff time. So you got to do what you got to do. And you know, he played well. And, you know, obviously we're not happy with the outcome, but, um, you know, proud of him for, for grinding through that. <laughs> I think he's always sitting down. It's all right. Uh, Luke, just your thoughts on those final five minutes there, and then we'll get to your goal. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Doss had a big goal to tie it up. And, um, you know, and then we let one go in and, um, you know, at, at that point, just, um, you know, you just think on the bench to what, what can you do to tie it up or help help out. So, um, you know, it was a good win for our team, really resilient win and a big two points. What's going through your mind on that entire sequence there for <laughs> yourselves? Going um, 
yeah, I mean, I just came off the bench and uh, got a little speed, came around, and, um, you know, when you have that much speed, I think, you know, it's easy to penetrate a bit, um, you know, the one two two. so, um, you know, it kind of just opened up for me and uh, just tried to get the puck on that. Was it in your mind to just go end-to-end -end all the way, or was it just kind of developing? Um, I don't know, I think, you know, I try to get the speed going just to, and then see what happens, so make the right play. Look, one of the things that Timo was saying that, you know, the you guys stayed patient as the score, you know, was 2-1 for quite a while there, and then you let skill take over. What's allowed you guys to have that patience and then al that skill to take over? Yeah, I think first off, we probably got to clean a couple things up, but, uh, you know, the good thing is everyone in this room knows that, and, um, you know, like you said, I think um, you know, we have a lot of skill on this team, and uh, I think we trust our skill, you know, when we play hard, and, um, you know, I think... That was a really resilient win for our team to come back twice, um, you know, and we got to learn to win games like that, so it was a good start. Um, two games in a row now playing with Johnny. How do you sort of like that combination of the two of you, and how do you complement each other? Yeah, I think, you know, really complement each other, um, you know, find each other when we're open, uh, try to jump by guys, jump up in the play, you know, be that fourth, fifth layer in the rush, and, um, you know, I think we've been playing really well together. I think, um, yeah, you know, he's a great player. He's a... He's a really enjoyable player to play with. So, this feel like a game where your goaltender kept you in it. Yeah, I think V played really good, and um, you know he's a big part of our team. So um, we need him to keep playing well, and um, you know he gave me a little scare when he was down there for a second. So um, you know I'm glad he's okay. From a defensive standpoint, what do you guys need to work on in terms of clearing the puck? Uh, uh, limiting the turnovers in the defensive end in order to play more efficiently? Yeah, probably just limiting the turnovers um, a bit. Um, you know, make a play when the play's there, and, you know, when it's not, get an end behind them and, and get to work. So, uh, you know, that's probably just one area we need to work on a bit. But, um, like I said, it's a really resilient win for our team, and, um, you know, we just got to keep it going and keep stacking games together. Uh, last question. Um, that was a really nice goal you had. I'm just curious to know, has your brother given you any pointers uh, in terms of scoring or something like that? Uh, no, I think, you know, I think, um, I don't know. I think, you know, he gives me pointers, both of them do. And, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think probably some things I want to keep in the house. But, um, you know, he's a great support system for me, both of them are, and my parents. And, um, it was good, good to get home for Christmas break. I'll, t I'll say that. <laughs> Before we continue, let me tell you guys about FanDuel. So happy Super Bowl to all those who celebrate from FanDuel, America's number one sports book. If you're like me, Super Bowl Sunday is all about scoring the best seat on the couch, grabbing your favorite football snacks, and placing some super bets. So FanDuel has so many ways for you to end the season with a W or two or three. Not only can you bet on who will win Super Bowl 58, but FanDuel also has bets for which players will score a touchdown, how many points will be scored, and so much more. New customers join today. You'll get a $200 in bonus bets if your first bet of $5 or more wins. Just visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to sign up. That's FanDuel.com slash locked on. Make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL or the Taylor Swift League, however you want to name it. Two goals in two games. What are you feeling right now when it comes to your confidence in your game? We've talked so much about how important that is for you. Yeah, no, I feel good about my game. I feel like I'm taking steps every game, so just trying to build from that. Uh, I always believe in myself, so I think that's, yeah, it's a huge part of it. Was one of the really important things today just how much five-on-five -five scoring that you guys were able to generate? Yeah, I didn't really think about that, but that, that's true, yeah. We had one on the power play today, so... No, a lot of goals on the five and five, so that's good. When you got to the rink, I'm sure you guys couldn't wait to get out. When you get those early goals, what did it do for your confidence? <laughs> I think it just like build off of the team. Uh, every line want to produce out there, so we just yeah keep on going. Every line shift after shift. But also the defensive side of the game was so important. The way you guys held them to so few shots, that has to be you know to have those two things come together really important and really encouraging. Yeah, totally. I feel like this was one of our best 60 minute efforts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we talked a lot about that before the game to yeah keep it uh, yeah good in the defensive zone and the offense is gonna come for sure. Alex, after having those conversations with the coaches and staff about what they wanted to see from you, you feel like you're starting to finally you know do all those little things that they wanted to see on the ice. I feel like I'm getting better all the time. So, yeah, of course, uh, I have a lot of talks with Lindy lately. So, yeah, I feel like we're taking steps. 
Thanks, Holtz. Seems, seems like your seems like your game has uh, really picked up the last few uh, outings. How would you like your role to be uh, going forward now that Nico and Jack are back into the lineup? Uh, I just want to be yeah, get a be a consistent goal scorer out there. Uh, I don't want to have the slumps. I just want to keep producing every game. So I feel like that is yeah the biggest part I'm going to take out with me. On your first NHL goal, how does this live up to the expectation you had of this moment? Yeah, uh, it, it, it's a great feeling, and uh, yeah, it was it was a nice play from from brother, and I just had like a uh, half empty net, and yeah, I just scored. There was a couple times you had some big, almost saves yourself, some big clears. What are you learning more about reading this game and using your hockey IQ in those key moments? Yeah, uh, it was a hard game. Uh, their their forecheck so hard, and uh, yeah, sometimes. I had like tough moments on the uh, on the ice, but yeah, I think uh, it's it's a good learn for me. This team was able to defend a lead for 30 minutes tonight. Something the Devils have worked on. What did it take to defend that one goal lead? Yeah, uh, we needed this win. Uh, great, great goalie, and yeah, uh, great effort from from us. And yeah, I was said uh, we needed this this game. Just one goal against. Yeah, great. Put it in. When you saw it go in, what's, what, what were you thinking? What were you? Thinking? I didn't think like I didn't do Sally or something. Yeah, I just like <laughs> yeah, it's it's there and like I I was I was really happy, but I didn't look like happy. But I was. like you were almost happier when you got to the bench. It was like you realized it, right? Yeah, because yeah, uh, first goal is always first. Yeah, I remember forever and yeah. Shimon, the uh, goal itself was great, but you were playing big minutes. You were also on uh, special teams, uh, the penalty kill to be exact. So how have you been able to mesh so well with this team rather quickly? Yeah, uh, it's good for me to play big minutes. I didn't expect it. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's so good. The, the coaches, they trust me. And uh, yeah, I feel I feel good uh, in this role and I try I try I try to do my best. How do you hope your role will be with this team moving forward? I hope stay here uh, for next week's months. So we will see what happens. What about the penalty kill tonight coming up big throughout this game? Yeah, uh, now I'm playing the penalty kill here, and uh, I think it was, it was important for us. They didn't score. They didn't score, and uh, yeah, so that's, that's good for us. And yeah, I hope. Uh, Uh, Shimon, from uh, your perspective, uh, what needs to change defensively? Because you guys had the lead twice this game, and unfortunately the Flyers tied it up both times. I know you're in your first year, but can you provide your uh, perspective on it? Yeah, uh, it's hard when you're leading twice and, and you you still lose the game. But yeah, we need, we need to learn from, from this mistake, and I hope uh, it, it's going to be better. I don't know if it was. You think it's a coincidence, but their goals were basically tonight all in front of the net. Is that just one of those nights? The uh, what? Their, their three goals were kind of right all in front. Um, is that? Just well, I, I mean, you look at the last goal. Um, we had a little breakdown, but really all we had to do was box out. Our two G going made a save. We have position inside. We just box out. Uh, we had a bad change on the second goal, which really has nothing to do with Netflix. It's just a, it's a it's a terrible change by the guys that were on the ice. How do you look at the um, you know just the performance as the team as it went from the second to the third? Did something change? What what was the difference? As well, if if you look at some of the quality opportunities we didn't take advantage of, like we probably had five guys in alone. Uh, you know, Timo, Mercer, McLeod, Hall. We had lots of lots of opportunities. Um, we didn't take advantage of. Uh, you know, I thought we came out at the start of the third with a good power play and uh, got us back in the game. And then we had good momentum after that again. Um, there was early chances. We were 
you know, obviously we were defending pretty well, weren't giving up, weren't giving up a lot. Um, but we didn't take advantage of early opportunities. And I thought there was a few times, again, we could have done a better job getting around, around their net front. The, the effort was there, but does it sting because it, it's a, you feel it's a missed opportunity tonight? Yeah. No, it really stings. It, it stings even worse when it's, there's five minutes left. When you look at the power play, hasn't scored in the last five games but two goals tonight. What was different about their execution? Uh, you know, we had some good looks. We made some good plays. Um, you know, you look at the missed opportunity Nico had, the good little low play where he just didn't get it up. Um, we got pucks through. Uh, we got a bounce. I think one, one of the goals went off one of their guys. But getting pucks through is a big deal. Uh, getting more attempts through is a big deal. Um, so there was, there was a lot of good in there, but, you know, we're going to just keep on trying to get better at it. Nico said, you know, he thought the team did great throughout most of the game, but it's a mindset that needs to shift to stop making those little mistakes that have turned into these breakdowns. Do you agree with the mindset? I, I, or what I needs talked to about the mindset of a, a bad change, which happened to be Nico's line. Um, and at the end, uh, just the, the mentality of game is on the line. I need two defensemen to box out. We made a little mistake down low that we gave the puck back to them up the wall uh, when uh, I think it was Nemec got the puck down low. Um, but after that guy shoots, you know, we've got to do a better job for our goaltender. Uh, Timo back in the lineup tonight. What would you make of his return? Um, had a couple good, real good opportunities. Uh, I thought he skated well. I think the most important part is he skated well. Uh, I think he'll only keep getting better. And you started uh, Dawes for the third game in a row. Was it another quality start for him, in your opinion? Yeah. There, I mean, there wasn't a lot. I mean, there wasn't a lot he could do in a couple of them. Lindy, at the more than halfway mark of the season, where do you think your team is at? Uh, a lot of injuries right now. And, you know, and another one, too, is uh, with Holtz. Just two shifts after his uh, obviously game time goal. What, what, what went into that? Um, again, uh, you don't watch the game very well. So if you look at the opportunity in the second period where he threw a puck in the middle of the ice to get a point blank scoring chance, it, in a tight game, in a, in a one goal game, you, it's, it's plays like that that we're trying to get back in the game and I drop down to three lines. Um, we happen to get back in the game. He understands. Like we, we're we're trying to eliminate the pucks that go into the middle of the ice. That the puck management part. So when you make a play like that, then it's going to be hard to get back on the ice. We just give him a quality scoring chance off a play where we put it in the middle of the ice, where we don't need to put it in the middle of the ice. Uh, yeah, I like this power play goal. A couple other things I like, but is he going to make the same play again? <laughs> 